phosphorus cycle. To understand the phosphorus cycle in detail, phosphorus is a combustible non metal commonly used in matchsticks and fireworks. Toothpaste and fertilizers. It is an integral part of living organisms as bones and teeth are rich in phosphorus. Many biological molecules essential for life like DNA, phospholipids in cellular membranes and ATP have phosphorus as a constituent molecule. How do these phosphorus atoms get incorporated in the cell? To understand this, let us take a look at the section of the biosphere. In nature, Phosphorus is found in the soil, rock and water bodies. The main phosphorus reservoir on earth is the soil and rocks of the earth's crust. The phosphates present in the soil are absorbed by the plants through their roots. And from there they enter the food chain as the animal consumes the plants. When these animals die, The decomposers such as bacteria and fungi break down the dead tissues to release phosphorus into the soil where plants can take it up again. Because phosphorus does not enter the atmosphere easily, it is known as a sedimentary cycle. Major portion of the phosphates are slowly washed away into the sea and during weathering. The rocks release phosphorus in the form of phosphate to form a part of the sediments. Phosphorus can remain trapped in sediments for more than 100 million years till they are brought to the surface due to volcanic activities or earthquakes. Summary The phosphates present in the soil are absorbed by the plants through their roots and from there they enter the food chain as the animal consumes the plants. When these animals die, the decomposers such as bacteria and fungi break down the dead tissues to release phosphorus into the soil where plants can take it up again. Because phosphorus does not enter the atmosphere easily, it is known as a sedimentary cycle. Phosphorus can remain trapped in sediments for more than 100 million years till they are brought to the surface due to volcanic activities or earthquakes.